Hey everyone, my name is Ian, also known as Not Ian Sands from Learn How to Edit Stuff, and in this video we are going to be covering time stretching and how to better manipulate time in Adobe After Effects. By the end of this series, you will have your own animated logo that looks something like this. Of course, if you would like to download the project file, it is available to you in the video description below, so go ahead and download that. Otherwise, let's explore some time manipulation and time stretching in Adobe After Effects. Okay, so time stretching in its most basic form is making something faster or slower, but how you achieve that in After Effects, A, is totally your call, and B, can be done multiple different ways. Here I have the folding animation that we did in the first video, but it's honestly way too slow and I want to speed it up. The simple way to do this would be to click on my layer, hit U on the keyboard to reveal properties with keyframes, then highlight my last keyframes and move them over to the left. And now, like magic, the folding animation is sped up a lot. But what if you had multiple keyframes in your scene? Now what do you do? Manually start dragging them all over to the left? No, you highlight them all, hold down Alt, then click and drag the last keyframes, and it will uniformly adjust the time in between all of the keyframes, but shortening or lengthening the amount of time. So this is a nice convenient way to speed things up or slow things down with animated properties. All right, now I know what you're thinking. Video clips don't have keyframe animations. And you're absolutely right about that, but that doesn't mean that we can't still manipulate time with video clips. Here is a video clip that I want to speed up to be twice as fast. So what I'll do is right click, go to time stretch, then adjust the value here to be what I want. It is important to note that After Effects works in the opposite way that you would think. We're not going to change the speed to 200%, thinking that it's 200% faster. We're actually going to change it to 50%. A good way to know what you're doing is looking at the total time indicator for your clip. If it's half the time, you know you're speeding it up properly. This obviously works for slowing the clip down as well, but for this, we're just going to speed it up. Nice, we time stretched this clip and now it is playing in double speed. Remember when I told you earlier that video clips don't have keyframe animations? I lied, they do. It's called time remapping. It's actually really cool. I just didn't want to ruin the big reveal, you know? Let's dive in. If you right click and then go to time, enable time remapping, you now see that you have a keyframe at the beginning and at the end of your clip, and these are noting the time code for your video, and now everything in between is now animatable with keyframes. For example, I'm going to scrub ahead in this footage to where the car takes off and set a keyframe. Now I'm going to bring that keyframe back towards the beginning, and now the beginning part of my clip will be sped up, then once it hits, it will slow down until I bring the ending keyframe towards the front. If I set two keyframes, then reverse the positioning, the clip will play in reverse for that portion, then click back over to normal. These types of animations or speed ramps can be really fun and effective for your video, especially if you use the graph editor to really smooth out the animation curves for your keyframes. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is three different ways to manipulate time in Adobe After Effects. My personal opinion, no one way is better than the one before or after it. It kind of just depends on the situation that you're in and the project that you are working on, which will determine which method you use. But hey, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to the Creative Cloud YouTube channel where you can learn from more creators like myself. If you liked me, you wanna find me, youtube.com slash learn how to edit stuff. Thank you guys so much again for watching this video and we'll see you in the next one.